Hi guys, so this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Welcome to my YouTube channel and today we have two people and we just uh, bumped to them. And what's your name? Gerard. Drew? Gerard. Gerard. Yes. So we have Gerard here. So uh, what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna sneak into their basket and see what they got and we are gonna actually talk about what is good and what's not in their bag. Let's dive into it. Alright, so what we got here? So, so do you have diabetes, Gerard? Yes, I do. So, Gerard has diabetes. What is your AMC, Gerard? So, Gerard does not always say AMC, which is okay. A lot of people don't. Uh, do you have a primary care doctor? Um, yes, just started going. So, yes. the first thing, you know, the, our viewers know what an AMC is. So, I'm going to tell Gerard to follow our channel so he will know what an AMC is. So, AMC is average blood sugar numbers in three oh, months. Yeah, okay. So, do you remember that? What is yeah, that number? Like 220. 220? So your average is 220? Yeah. So Gerard, Gerard is saying that his average blood sugars are around 220. That means that his A1C is going to be around 9%. So, that's, there's a calculation method we, we talked about in the previous videos. But let's talk about the foods we have here. Now, are you eating these or are you sharing with other people? That was his. That's so this is all his. Okay, so we're gonna go. She already gave out. She already. Gave, <laughs> she already gave out the information. So wait, let's let's see. Uh, Fritos. Okay, so okay, let's let's talk about the good stuff first. Let's see what we got good here. Okay, so we got chicken thighs. So why not chicken breast and chicken thighs? They taste better, don't they? Chicken thighs taste better. <laughs> So it tastes better. He got one point. That's true. <laughs> but I'm gonna give him a minus point too because some, so the problem with the chicken thighs, there's you see all this fat around here, yeah. the animal fat. So interestingly, even if Jared eats this chicken, that chicken can increase Jared's blood sugar even without eating any carbs. Did you know that? Oh, no, I didn't know that. That is because yeah. first of all, proteins turn into sugar, but also the fat content because of the animal fat that will actually rise your blood sugar as well, will make immediately insulin resistant. Let's see what else we got. So chicken breast would have been a better choice. Okay. All right, so we got juice here. Of course, juice is a no-no. Now, what would be an alternative for this? To, to an orange. What would be an alternative? Water. No water, don't be that bad, that bad. it's okay. You know what would be an alternative? Cranberry juice. Like you even diet cranberry juice? Okay, so that would be a good one, but also the best thing to do actually have the real orange, right? Because the real orange has what, what is in there? It's fibers, right? And when you make it a juice, they process this, they, they got, God knows what they put in here. And if you look at here, the total carbohydrates, 33 grams in one bottle, and you have no fiber. So practically, if you drink this orange juice, it, it can increase your blood sugar from 200 to 400 within 30 minutes. Can you believe that? This, this is crazy. So, uh, and then what is this? Gatorade? Yeah. So, zero sugar, thirst quencher. So, I'm okay with that. Perfectly okay. Although some people still have blood sugar spikes if you're really resistant to insulin, you can still be insulin to your blood sugar, believe it or not. Sometimes yeah. even the aspartame or the sweeteners can do it, but it's way better than the orange juice. So, if you want to go for that. So, of course, we have these, I don't know what that is. So. <laughs> Carbs. <laughs> So, so here it says 16 grams of carbs and the serving size, if you look at it here, so nine servings per container. So how many people eat this? How many times do you sit down and divide it into nine oh, and eat it nine times? I'll take a little bit. Take a little bit? Okay. Okay. Jared is actually doing really good. Uh, but most of my patients will probably take the whole thing and eat it at a time. There is around 91 chips here and nine servings per container. So if you look at the total carbohydrates, this is how you read it, by the way. So 16 grams of carbs. So if you eat, would you eat like a one quarter of this? Probably. So if he eats one quarter of this, that would be around um, three servings. And three servings will give him 48 grams of carbs. So 48 grams of carbs. Now. Let me ask you this, when you eat food, for example, when you have lunch or dinner, do you count carbs, like how much carbs you're eating? Do you think about that? So a lot of people don't, and, and that's very important, right? So for a man, a handsome man like him, in his size, I would say he shouldn't eat more than 45 grams of carbs if he wants to control his blood sugars. That means that 
This could have been his dinner and that's all. And the problem is, if he had a quarter of this for his dinner, he will still be hungry because that's gonna spike the blood sugar and will get out of his system so quickly, within two hours he will be craving. So, the best is to totally avoid these things because they are definitely diabetes killer. Your blood sugars will be so high. What else we got? So the Cheetos is the same way if you look at the carbohydrates, 15, 16 grams per serving, but most people will end up eating 45, 50 grams of carbs. Now, uh, we have more carbs and more carbs. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. And before you go, please uh, click on this video next.